Interval colorectal cancers are an important indicator of the quality and effectiveness of colorectal cancer screening and surveillance. While no screening tests will ever be perfect, the occurrence of an interval cancer within a screening program is a marker of failure and should be minimized. Better measurement of interval cancer rate will facilitate benchmarking. It will enable screening programs to identify performance gaps that can be addressed to improve effectiveness. Many studies around the world showed that the interval cancer rate can vary greatly. For example, colonoscopy interval cancer rate varies from 2 to 9% of all diagnosed cancers and from 1 in 1,000 to 8 in 1,000 colonoscopies. Likewise, flexible sigmoidoscopy interval cancer rate and fecal test interval cancer rate vary. Lack of consistency in the definition of interval cancer precludes meaningful comparisons of interval cancer rate across studies and programs. Thus, standardizing nomenclature is a critical first step to facilitate international benchmarking. Following a Delphi process, the expert working group on interval cancer of the Colorectal Cancer Screening Committee of the World Endoscopy Organization developed a standardized nomenclature for interval cancer. An interval cancer is defined as a colorectal cancer diagnosed after a screening test or examination in which no cancer is detected and before the date of the next recommended examination. Because there is international variation in the recommended timing of repeat screening and surveillance exams, the nomenclature preserved the term recommended exam. Thus, the recommended dates for a repeat exam must be explicitly documented. Colorectal cancers identified in the context of screening and colonoscopy surveillance can be classified into screen-detected cancers, defined as cancers diagnosed as a defined period after a positive test or examination, and non-screen-detected cancers, which can include interval cancers and cancers due to systemic causes, such as non-compliance with screening. The WIO nomenclature is applicable to screening with any modality and colonoscopy surveillance. Let me show you a few examples to illustrate the applicability of the new nomenclature. A 60 years old woman participates in a biennial fit screening program. The first fit screening episode is negative. The second episode is also negative. The third episode is positive and subsequent colonoscopy detects a colorectal cancer. This is a fit screen detected cancer within a fit screening program. A 57 years old male participates in a biennial fit screening program. The first fit screening episode is negative but a colonoscopy performed one year later due to rectal blood loss shows a colorectal cancer. This is a fit interval cancer within a fit screening program. A 69 years old male participates in a colonoscopy screening program. Baseline colonoscopy is normal for which a repeat colonoscopy is recommended after 10 years. However, a colonoscopy performed six years later due to anemia shows a colorectal cancer. This is a colonoscopy interval cancer within a colonoscopy screening program. To set the scene for international benchmarking, a comprehensive screening data set should be collected, which includes program characteristics, screening test characteristics, characteristics of the person included, and cancer characteristics. In summary, this article offers a standardized nomenclature for interval cancer and a practical guideline for determining and reporting on interval cancer. Standardizing of the terminology facilitates monitoring of interval cancer rate and enables to establish evidence-based practice benchmarks. 
Such approach will help to identify performance gaps and improve the effectiveness of screening. For more information, please visit the GUD website. Thank you.